Hello friends, welcome to my lecture on Karnag maps. In this uh, lecture, we shall discuss uh, the method of simplifying uh, Boolean functions. Why we simplify a Boolean function? Okay? If we simplify a Boolean function, we can reduce the required number of gates and so we can reduce the size of the circuit and thereby reduce the cost also. So, for example, consider this Boolean function f1 equal to x dash by dash z by dash z plus x dash by z plus x by dash. Now, this is the figure of this Boolean function. You see this is x, this is x conjugate, uh, this is sorry, this is x, this is x uh, complement, this is by, this is by complement and this is z. Okay? So, then x dash by dash z dash, okay? x dash by dash. So, we have this input x dash, then we have this input by dash and then we have this input z okay? and x dash by dash z dash. To, uh, to uh, implement x dash by dash z dash, we have considered this end gate. Okay? So, uh, when we these are three inputs uh, x dash by dash z, then to get the output x dash by dash z dash, we have used this end gate, okay? then x dash by z. So, we have this x dash input then by and then z. Okay? So, three inputs are there x dash by and z and to get the output as x dash by z we have used again another end gate. Okay? So, then the third uh, uh, term is x by dash. So, we have uh, this input x okay? and this input uh, by dash. Okay? So, two inputs are here uh, x and by dash and to get the output x by dash we use the uh, end gate. Okay? So, in the first end gate there are three inputs x dash by dash z. Okay? In the second uh, 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 end gate there are three inputs again x dash by and z and in the case of third end gate uh, there are two inputs x by x and by dash. So, there are three end, end gates. Uh, first end gate con considers uh, two uh, uh, three inputs okay this end gate uh, has three inputs this end gate has uh, three inputs again and this end gate has two inputs and there are two not gates this one okay x dash and by dash there are two not gates so there are two not gates okay two uh, three input end gates there are three uh, three input end gates okay there are three input end gates here and uh, then to obtain f1 okay the output f1 okay uh, we have to use uh, this or gate okay so for or gate there are three inputs x dash by dash z okay x dash by z and x by dash so there are three uh, inputs and uh, to get the output f1 we use this or gate okay so there are three end gates uh, with uh, 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 one, one, one has three inputs, the other has, one has three inputs again, the third one has two inputs, uh, three end gates and one OR gate. Uh, there are uh, two NOT, uh, so there are two NOT gates, okay, X dash and uh, uh, Y dash. to get x dash by dash okay? and there are three end gates okay? this, this and this three end gates two not gates this and this okay? and uh, uh, there are there is one or gate okay? to get the desired output f1 equal to x dash y dash z plus x dash by z plus x by dash. Now, uh, let us simplify this Boolean expression okay, using the uh, postulates and the theorems that we have earlier uh, studied. Okay, what we will have then? So, let us simplify this Boolean function using postulates and the theorems. We have f1 equal to x dash y dash z plus x dash by z plus x by dash. We can then use uh, this uh, uh, dis, uh, the distributive uh, law and we say that a star b plus c equal to a star b plus a star c. 
ok. So, x dash by dash z plus x dash by dash by z x dash by z can be uh, written as x dash z into uh, star by plus by dash ok x dash by using this uh, distributive law. So, x dash z by plus by dash plus x by dash now by by plus by dash by plus by complement is equal to uh, 1 ok. So, we have x dash star x dash z star 1 here ok and this is equal to x dash z because a star 1 equal to a for all a belonging to the Boolean algebra say b ok this we know for a for all a belonging to the Boolean algebra b a star 1 equal to a a 1 is the unit element. So, here x dash z into 1 is equal to x dash z and therefore, we will have x dash z plus x y dash making use of by plus by dash equal to 1. Now, let us uh, see how to get this desired this output x dash z plus x by dash uh, let us again draw the uh, uh, gets. So, here we have this uh, this is your in x ok this is uh, x dash ok the out. So, we have one not get and then for by we have one not get by dash. So, there are two by not uh, not gets. Okay. And uh, since our output f 1 is equal to x dash z plus uh, x by dash how to get this x dash z we take the input x dash ok this is input x dash and this is input z ok. So, x dash this is x dash this is z to so to get x dash z we use this end gate ok. So, one end gate uh, we use to get the x dash z. So, there are two inputs x dash and z and one end gate to get the output x dash z and then for the other uh, term x by dash we use again two inputs this is x and this is by dash ok. So, two inputs x and by dash with an end gate then gives us uh, x by dash ok. So, and to get then x dash z plus x by dash we use one OR gate ok. So, this is one OR gate. So, we have two NOT gates two end gates and one OR gate ok and we get f 1 equal to x dash z plus x by dash. So, you can see uh, now the number of gates that we need are less ok in comparison to the previous uh, case and number of inputs also are less ok there we had uh, three inputs ok. If we see this one this figure we had two not gates ok we also have two not gates there we have three end gates here while we have one end gate there uh, we, we have two end gates there. So, this three end gates reduce to two end gates and moreover the inputs uh, like here in the end in these two end gates the inputs were uh, three each ok here three and here also three and there we see that uh, we have two end gates with inputs to each. So, uh, so uh, by uh, using postulates and theorems we can easily we can uh, simplify the given Boolean expression. So, that when we uh, uh, draw the uh, uh, figure ok we use uh, num uh, less number of uh, 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 end or or gates and not gates uh, to get the desired output. So, that actually is uh, uh, reduces the cost of the uh, 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 output I mean to get the desired output we have to spend uh, uh, much less ok by using uh, the uh, uh, theorems and postulates to simplify the given boolean function. Now, let us uh, consider uh, methods to simplify the boolean functions ok. One method we have just now seen uh, by using postulates and theorems we can simplify the uh, uh, boolean functions uh, the other method is uh, using Carnot map ok. So, let us use see how we use Carnot map to simplify the given boolean functions. Now, let us say uh, uh, to simplify the boolean function if you use postulates and theorems ok then there are no specific rules. Uh, the only way to simplify is that we apply postulates and basic theorems and some other uh, 
manipulation methods to arrive at the uh, simplification of the given Boolean expression. Let for example, uh, let us consider f equal to x into x dash plus y. Okay. Then we can uh, simplify this. So, f is equal to uh, we use the uh, distributive law a star b plus c equal to a star b plus a star c okay. and this gives us x x dash plus x y. Now, we know that a star a complement is equal to uh, 0. Okay. So, this is equal to 0 plus x y okay. and we know that uh, uh, by identity law a plus 0 equal to uh, a for all a belonging to the Boolean algebra b. Okay. So, 0 plus x by equal to 0. So, we see that the expression f equal to x times x dash plus by uh, can be simplified to f equal to x y by using the uh, postulates and theorems. Now, let us consider another uh, example f equal to x by plus x dash z plus by z. Let us consider this Boolean function. Uh, we can write it as x by plus x dash z uh, uh, and then uh, by z. By z can be written as uh, x plus x dash into by z okay, because uh, x plus x dash is equal to 1. Okay. So, this by z can be written as x plus x z dash into uh, by z and then this is equal to uh, by uh, distributive law x by z plus x dash by z. So, we have uh, x by plus x dash z plus x by z plus x dash by z here. Okay. Now, x by uh, uh, plus x by z can be combined and we can write x by star 1 plus z. Okay. So, x by plus x by z can be combined and we have x by uh, star 1 plus z. Okay. So, we have this. Now, we know that a plus 1 a plus 1 is equal to for all a belonging to the Boolean algebra b. So, x by into 1 plus z, 1 plus z will be equal to 1. Okay. So, this will be x by into 1. Okay. This is equal to x by star 1 and x by star 1 is equal to x y okay, because we know that a star 1 equal to a for all a belonging to b. Okay. So, we this gives us x y and similarly we can uh, combine x dash z and x dash by z. So, x dash z into 1 plus y we can write 1 plus y is equal to 1. Okay. So, we have x dash z into 1 x dash z into 1 we uh, get as x dash z by using this uh, uh, result okay, this theorem. So, uh, 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 so, we have x y plus x dash z. Okay, so, this given uh, expression which consisted of the three terms x y x dash z and by z is reduced to now two terms x y and x dash z. Okay. Now, let us consider this uh, another uh, Boolean uh, function f equal to x plus y x dash plus z y plus z. Okay, then, what you notice is that if you take the uh, these two uh, uh, terms x dash plus z then x dash plus z into y plus z we can write as uh, x dash by e plus z by using uh, by using uh, a star b plus c equal to a star b plus a star c. Okay. We can write it as uh, x plus x dash plus z into y plus z we can write, write as z plus x dash into z plus y. Okay. So, then it is equal to z plus x dash star y. Okay. So, we have uh, r we can write it as x dash star y plus z. Okay. So, x dash y plus z we have here. Okay. So, uh, the function f uh, can which consisted of 3 uh, uh, product of 3 uh, uh, terms now has been reduced to uh, product of 2 okay, x plus y and x dash y plus z. Now, let us define uh, a min term a product term in which all the variables appear exactly appear exactly once okay, uh, either complemented or uncomplemented. 
is called a min term ok. So, a product term in which all the variables appear exactly once ok either complemented or uncomplemented is called a min term this we defined or in the previous lecture also ok. We have defined it again to emphasize it because we are using going to use it when we discuss Carnot maps. So, we have defined it earlier uh, again here a min term represents exactly one combination of the binary variables in a truth table ok. It has the value 1 for that combination and 0 for the others as we shall see while discussing Carnot maps. So, uh, the Carnot map method is a graphical technique, it is a graphical technique which provides a simple procedure for simplification of Boolean uh, expressions and uh, it can be applied to 6 or fewer variables beyond that it is not uh, uh, easy to uh, uh, handle uh, this uh, situation. So, uh, Carnot maps uh, can be used to uh, Boolean expressions up, uh, containing up to 6 variables. A uh, Carnot map it is a diagram made up of a number of squares ok. If the expression contains n variables the map will have n squares 2 to the power n squares each square represents a min term ok and bonds are written in the corresponding squares for the min terms present in the expressions ok and zeros are written in those squares which correspond to the min terms not present in the expression ok. So, those min terms which are present in the expression in the corresponding boxes ok we shall write one and the and the min terms which are not present in the expression in those boxes we shall in the in those squares we shall put 0 ok. Now, once the map is filled with zeros and ones the canonical sum of products expression ok for the output is obtained by grouping together those squares that contain 1 ok. So, we shall then group those uh, squares uh, uh, that contain 1 to get the desired uh, output. Now, let us consider two variable case uh, for uh, in for Carnot maps. So, if you would consider uh, a Boolean expression uh, uh, having um, with two variables then the number of since the number of variables are 2 the map will have Carnot map will have 2 to the power 2 that is 4 squares. The values of one variable ok the values of one variable say A are listed above the top horizontal line like here ok. The values of A are listed uh, above the top horizontal line this is top horizontal line ok and the values of the other variable say B are listed on the left side. So, these the, here they are listed the two values of B, B and B dash ok. Four possible min terms ok with variables A and B what are the min terms? There are four min terms A B, A B dash, A dash B, A dash B dash ok. So, those four uh, min terms are then represented by four squares. So, you can see A dash B dash ok this is A dash B dash then A B dash this is A dash B A B dash and then A dash B ok this is A dash B and then A B this is A B. Now, if you use the uh, 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 value uh, of A equal to 1 then value of A dash will be 0 value of B if you take as 1 value of B dash will be 0. So, we can use uh, uh, the alternate uh, uh, Carnot map this one also uh, to find the desired output here instead of a and b uh, and a dash b dash we use their values ok. So, a is has value 1 ok a dash has value 0 b has value 1 b dash has value 0 ok then 0 0 this is a dash b dash ok a dash has value 0 b dash has value 0. So, a dash b dash a 0 0 means a dash b dash 1 0 1 0 means a b dash ok and then 0 1 0 1 means a dash b 1 1 means a b ok. So, this also can be used. Now, let us define adjacent squares which squares are called adjacent ok. So, squares are said to be adjacent if the min terms that they represent differ in exactly one literal ok. Two squares will be called adjacent if the min terms that they represent ok differ in exactly one literal. For instance, the squares representing a dash b ok you can see here a dash b ok representing a dash b it is adjacent to uh, uh, this one uh, uh, a b ok because a dash b differs with a b only in one literal ok and here a dash b dash and a dash b differs with a dash b dash only in one literal that is b ok. So, this square 
a dash b this square is called adjacent to the square representing a b and the square representing a dash b dash ok. So, uh, we can easily see which square is adjacent to uh, which one uh, using the uh, definition of the adjacent squares ok. Now, let us go to uh, how to simplify the uh, Boolean expression using Carnac maps. So, the expression can be simplified by properly combining those squares in the k map which contain ones ok. The process for com how we will, will com combine the process for combining ones is called looping ok. Whenever there are ones in the two adjacent squares in the k map the min terms represented by these squares can be looped ok and it eliminates the variable that appear in complemented and uncomplemented form ok. Say for example, here ok uh, uh, we will be, suppose this value is 1 ok and this value is 1 we will uh, loop uh, we will consider a loop about that ok and then uh, we will drop that uh, variable which appears in uh, complemented, complemented and uncomplemented form in the adjacent squares ok. So, let us see how we do this for example, find uh, Carnac maps uh, 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 and simplify this expression a b dash plus a dash b dash ok. So, let us see ok uh, if we have used this one uh, ok. So, a b dash and uh, a dash b dash ok we have this ok. So, this is a dash ok this is a dash this one is a this one is b dash this one is b ok and uh, so therefore, a dash b dash this is a dash b dash uh, no 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 uh, we have uh, a b dash ok a b dash a b dash means a will have value 0 b dash will have value this is a b dash ok this is a b dash ok and this is a dash b dash ok and uh, this one is a dash b this one is a b. Now, what is our first uh, part a b dash plus a dash b dash a b dash plus a dash b dash ok. Now, the these two squares representing a b dash and a dash b dash are ad adjacent because they differ only in one uh, variable that, uh, that is uh, b ok uh, that is a ok. So, uh, here we have a here we have a dash and b dash is same. So, they differ only in one variable that is a and therefore, when we will come they both have value 1. So, we combine them we consider loop this loop ok and then a b dash plus a dash b dash will be equal to uh, now you see we, we this a appears in one uh, this uh, this uh, square it appears in the uncomplemented form here it appears in the complemented form. So, we uh, will consider a b dash plus a dash b dash as equal to b dash ok by using uh, uh, this uh, uh, this ma this method Car Carnac ma ma method Carnac method says that eliminate the variable that appear in complemented and uncomplemented form after you uh, you have taken the loop ok. So, here we have considered the loop ok and then we uh, eliminate the variable which appears in the uh, complemented and uncomplemented form. So, a b dash plus a dash b dash will be equal to b dash. Now, you can also verify this by using the postulates and theorems that we have done uh, studied so far. So, a b dash plus a dash b dash if we use the postulates and theorems we can write it as a plus a dash into b dash if you use the distributive formula a star b plus c equal to a star b plus a star c ok. If we use this formula and the commutative formula of commutative law also ok because we have here b uh, uh, this situation this uh, by using commutative law we can write it as b plus c star a b uh, plus c star a equal to b star a plus uh, c star a ok. So, uh, using this formula 
a b dash plus a dash b dash can be written as a plus a dash into b dash and a plus a dash a plus a dash equal to uh, 1 we know ok. So, 1 into b dash and we know that a in star 1 equal to a for all a belonging to the Boolean algebra b. So, 1 star b dash equal to b dash ok. So, by using postulates and theorems uh, uh, a b dash plus a dash b dash turns out to be b dash and by using Carnot map also a b dash plus a dash b dash comes out to be b dash. Now, let us go to the uh, second part, uh, second part is a b dash plus a dash b ok. So, a b dash plus a dash b ok. Now, this is a dash b dash uh, this is a dash b uh, we have a b dash here and we have a b here ok. So, uh, which uh, which uh, squares represent a b dash and a dash b a b dash is this ok and a dash b is this. Now, so uh, these two are not uh, these two squares are not adjacent ok because because of the fact that uh, uh, a b dash and a dash b ok they do not differ in just one literal ok in exactly one literal. So, they are not adjacent squares and therefore, we cannot make looping ok. So, a, da, a b dash plus a dash b will be equal to a b dash plus a dash b ok. Ok, now uh, let us consider the uh, uh, third part which is a b dash plus a dash b plus a dash b dash. So, a b dash plus a dash b plus a dash b dash ok. Now, let us see uh, a this is a dash b dash this is square represents min term a dash b dash this is represents a b dash and this represents a dash b ok. So, here a dash b dash and a dash b this is square and this is square they differ in exactly one literal ok that is b ok. So, uh, they are adjacent adjacent squares and we then have looped this one and one ok. So, we have this looping ok and this looping uh, then uh, eliminates the variable uh, which appears in uh, eliminate the variable which appears in uh, complemented as well as in com uncomplemented form and which is b here it appears as b here it appears as b dash. So, a dash b plus uh, a dash b dash that will be equal to uh, a dash ok. Now, let us consider the this square uh, this square represents a dash b dash and this represents a b dash. Then uh, here we see that b dash is same in the uh, two uh, term min terms that they are representing a is occurring here in the uncomplemented form here it is occurring in the complemented form. So, a dash b dash we have considered this loop a dash b dash plus a b dash a dash b dash plus a b dash when you find it will give you uh, b dash because a occurs in the complemented and uncomplemented form. So, a b dash plus a dash b plus a dash b dash is then the uh, sum of this b dash ok which is the result of looping this looping it gives us b dash uh, ok and as a result of this looping as a result of this looping we get a dash. So, we get uh, the output as b dash plus a dash or we can say a dash plus b dash in the third part. Uh, now, let us draw Carnot map for a b a b dash plus a b dash plus a dash b dash. So, we have seen that this is a dash ok this let us say is a this is b dash this is b ok. So, the value here is 0 here the value is 1 here the value is 0 here the value is 1 ok. Then a dash b dash this box uh, this uh, square represents the min term a dash b dash this represents the min term a b dash and it represents the min term a dash b and this square represents the min term a b b a b ok. Now, uh, we see a b plus a b dash let us look at this square and this square ok. The two squares are adjacent 
because they differ in just one literal that is b ok. So, this square and this square are adjacent and this is one one this is one ok. So, we consider this loop because we give the value one to the min term that is occurring here in the given boolean expression. So, a b dash is occurring here a b is occurring here. So, their squares will have had will then be represented by 1 they will have value 1 and then we have a dash b dash. So, this is a dash b dash ok this has value 1 and then uh, a dash b dash and a b dash the this square which represents a dash b dash and this square which represents a b dash they are also adjacent because they differ in one literal that is a ok. So, we loop one here. one here ok. Now, uh, because of this looping ok, uh, if you consider this loop first, this loop first then uh, as a result of this looping uh, uh, the value will be uh, uh, b dash because a and a dash are occurring here. So, a is occurring in the complemented form as well as uncomplemented form. So, it, as a result of this looping a dash b dash plus a b dash will be equal to b dash ok. a dash b dash plus a b dash will be equal to b dash and as a result of this looping ok as a result of this looping uh, uh, b is occurring in the uh, complemented and uncomplemented form. So, the result will be a ok. So, a dash b dash plus a b dash plus a b will be equal to uh, b dash plus a ok or you can say a plus b dash. So, this is how we can use Carnot map to simplify this expression this can be uh, obtained this output one can be obtained by using postulates also uh, postulates and theorems uh, what we can do is uh, ok. Now, let us uh, get this output a plus b dash by using postulates and theorems. So, a b uh, plus a b dash plus a dash b dash I can also write as a b plus a b dash plus a b dash plus a dash b dash because a plus a equal to a for all a belonging to a for all a belonging to b ok. Now, what we can do uh, we can combine this and this ok. So, a b plus a b dash we can combine and we can combine a b dash plus a dash b dash then this is equal to now using distributive law this is a times b plus b dash a star b plus b dash and here we get a plus a dash star b dash ok and b plus b dash is equal to 1. So, a into 1 plus 1 into b dash and this is equal to a plus b dash ok. So, that is how we can arrive at the output given by Carnot map. Uh, that is all in this lecture. Thank you very much for your attention.